Hello, welcome back to PowerShell for Pentesters. In this video, we're going to use Mimikatz to dump the hashes on Workstation 01, and we're gonna use Hashcat to crack the j.taylor hash. So here you see that we have uh, a new link. This is going to download Mimikatz into memory. Make sure that Windows Defender is disabled. If you have not made sure that it's disabled, you will get an error message saying you got picked up by your antivirus and that you need to do this again. Come on down here, we need to run PowerShell as administrator. So go ahead and run it as an admin. And first we're going to paste and hit enter. And you can see nothing happens, which tells us that it's been loaded into memory. And now we need to run invoke mimikatz command and then token elevate. We wanna run as the system user on the machine so that we can dump the hashes on the machine. We have to do this or else it will not work. So as you can see here, we've impersonated NT authority system. And now we can run, instead of token elevate, we can do LSA dump SAM. And this gives us the user hashes for s.chisholm, which we already have the credentials for s.chisholm, but also gives us the hash for j.taylor. Additionally, just to show you a bit more functionality, something that we do see pretty often on engagements is if we use LSA dump secret, the ability to dump clear text credentials as well. And LSA dump secrets, sorry, not secret. And in doing so, you can see that we're actually able to dump the clear text fallout boy one exclamation mark password. So coming back up here to j.taylor, we're gonna need hashcat now, which I showed you in the GitHub page how to download that. Uh, you can use Kali or you can do it on Windows. I'm gonna show you how to do it on Windows. Uh, alternatively, you could also use John the Ripper if you want, but you're gonna need that course word list list that comes from the GitHub repo. So bringing over hashcat, we can see I have it running. Let's go ahead and do hashcat.exe a0m1000 for the hash type, and then let's paste our hash. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna put course word list, and I'm gonna use dash o for optimize and hit enter. And you can see pretty quickly because it's a 200 word word list or so, uh, we get that Lexington 1776 password back. This happens on real life engagements. Please keep this in mind. We're showing you this for a specific reason and it's because this happens on real engagements. This is something you should be looking for and this is something you should be trying anytime you dump hashes, especially if you have a local admin that's also an administrator on the domain. The ability to do this is gonna be vital. And I'm gonna show you why in the next lesson where we hit our final video of the course where we're gonna utilize the j.taylor credentials we have here and the PowerShell remoting functionality to get access to DC01. So make sure you've got your domain controller started up and I'll see you over in the next lesson. Until then, thanks for joining.